This talk will explore proactive moderation of online discussions, both in terms of existing practices and the potential for algorithmic support. To get us started, we should first consider, what does discussion moderation actually consist of? One common conception goes something like this. Within an online discussion, there will occasionally be comments posted which are judged by a professional platform employed moderator to be uncivil or some other similar term. And in response, the moderator will remove this comment. Now, this might seem like a straightforward narrative, but if we take a step back, we have to wonder, what does it actually mean to say that this comment is uncivil? Who gets to define that? Well, in this version of the story, the most likely answer is that the platform itself imposed a definition of incivility in an attempt to create a common standard which could be procedurally applied. However, this top-down approach can result in arbitrary seeming decisions that don't actually meet the needs of the community. As such, there has been growing interest in an alternative conception which centers on the standpoint of community norms. The underlying idea is that online communities have goals, some kind of vision of the kind of community they want to be. And in pursuit of those goals, they will develop and negotiate norms, social standards for what is and is not acceptable behavior. Now, even in this more decentralized picture, there is still room for moderation. However, it will more likely take on the form of volunteer moderation wherein volunteers from within the community will take on a leadership role in negotiating and indeed sometimes enforcing norms. In comparison to platform moderators, whose work tends to be very procedural, volunteer moderators also do work on the more social side. To get a clearer sense of this, let's take a look at the workflow of a volunteer moderator throughout the course of a conversation. Now, volunteer moderators do still have access to procedural tools, such as removing comments or imposing sanctions. This kind of work is referred to as reactive moderation because it inherently reacts to uncivil comments that have already been posted. However, the social side of volunteer moderators' work tends to happen earlier, throughout the conversation. This includes steps such as intervening or negotiating within conversations to keep them on track. This kind of work is referred to as proactive moderation because its goal is to prevent uncivil outcomes in the first place. Considering all of this together, it becomes clear that the workload of a volunteer moderator is quite heavy, especially in light of the large scale of modern online platforms. This has led moderators to increasingly rely on algorithmic assistance. Most existing algorithmic tools focus on the reactive moderation setting. For example, a common approach is using machine learning to detect possibly uncivil comments. By contrast, our work will focus on the proactive setting. We ask, what would algorithmic assistance look like for the proactive moderation setting? Answering this will require two steps. First, we need to characterize human moderators' processes of proactive moderation. Once we have done that, we can then identify openings within those processes where algorithmic assistance could be helpful. We explore this question concretely through a case study on Wikipedia talk pages. We choose this domain both because it is one where incivility is particularly impactful and because it is one where moderation is heavily community driven. Our study consists of semi-structured interviews with nine Wikipedia administrators who regularly do the work of moderating discussions. From these interviews, we are able to piece together an overall picture of the proactive moderation workflow. And it consists, broadly speaking, of three steps. The first step is discovering conversations that could be at risk of future incivility and might need intervention. As P7 explains, this largely consists of looking for behavior that toes the line, not quite into incivility, but perhaps towards terseness or dismissiveness. Once these candidates have been discovered, the next step is to monitor them. Here, moderators are interested in seeing how these conversations play out and looking for opportunities to intervene. Once such opportunities have been found, the final step is to actually do the intervention. And for this, moderators have access to a wide toolbox of informal social strategies. For example, P4 points to the use of periodically putting up notices, whereas P5 and P8 point to directly engaging as additional participants within these discussions to try to bring them back on track. Within these three steps, we identify the first two, 
discovery and monitoring as posing the most practical challenge. This is largely due to a problem of scale. As P9 points out, there are many conversations at any given time that could be at risk. And as P6 points out, these conversations can be so active that it's easy for a moderator to miss out on key developments. We identify this practical challenge as a potential opening for algorithmic assistance. To more concretely explore this potential, we implement a prototype tool and ask our interview participants to try it out and see how it might fit into their workflow. This tool is made possible through a new class of algorithm known as conversational forecasting. These are designed to predict the future trajectory of conversations. We specifically use the craft algorithm to generate real-time estimates of the likelihood that ongoing conversations will later derail into personal attacks. Let's take a closer look at the features of this tool. To aid in the discovery step, we offer the ranking view feature. This presents a ranked list of conversations that are likely to be at risk of future incivility as estimated by the algorithm. Additionally, the score change column gives a hint into the temporal patterns of these estimates by showing how the estimates have recently changed. In response to this feature, participants reported that they felt it might be helpful for prioritizing which conversations to look at. For example, P4 points to the ranking itself as being possibly helpful, whereas P7 points to the score change indicator as being the more relevant information. Additionally, participants also offered their own ideas on what additional information might be helpful to include. For example, P7 points to the age of the conversation as one possible piece of information to include. To aid in the monitoring step, we offer the conversation view feature. This is opened when a participant clicks on one of the, on one of the conversations in the ranking view and it shows a full historical overview of how the algorithm's estimates of risk have evolved over time. In response to this feature, participants reported that the resulting score trajectories largely matched their own intuitions about conversational dynamics, and as such, could be helpful in, the, in finding places to intervene. Though this initial feedback was largely positive, we also note that participants also identified other needs in their workflow that are not currently met by the tool but which might be infeasible for algorithmic tools due to practical or ethical reasons. One theme that particularly came up was the importance of properly assigning blame when doing proactive moderation. This is due to the complex social dynamics involved. For example, P8 points to the possibility that someone engaging in uncivil behavior might have actually been being egged on by someone else. We note that existing forecasting algorithms are based on statistical methods and are therefore ill-suited for this task, which arguably requires more causal reasoning. Another aspect that came up was that many administrators draw on their knowledge of individual users' past behaviors when making judgments, but we caution that incorporating such information into the tool risks veering into algorithmic profiling, which, as prior work has shown, is dangerous due to issues of bias. Our results offer a preliminary qualitative picture of what algorithmic assistance for proactive moderation might look like. A natural next step is running a user study to more quantitatively understand how moderators would use this technology in their everyday workflow. This future work should pay particular attention to the possible risks of this technology, such as the impact of algorithmic errors and the overall effect on the broader community. But for now, we regard this as an important first step towards showing the, pro the promise of algorithmic assistance in the proactive setting. And we're excited to see where this goes next.